Hi everyone, I'm on the sets of We Women Want with Priya Segal. It's her show. Uh, Priya is a senior journalist. She works with MuseX and she does this fabulous show on women's issues. And uh, along with us here is Payan, who's a lawyer, and Dave Priya, who's a senior writing fellow at Ethiopia University. Um, I wanted to ask you girls, what are the biggest issues that you come across? Priya, you do this every week. What are the biggest women's issues that you have come across which affect their wellness? I think a lot of it is, uh, you know, uh, physical wellness. You've done shows on cancer, breast cancer, menopause is a big issue, uh, you know, um, uh, that women don't really can talk about uh, publicly, but they, you know, a lot of them don't know where to get the answers from, support from the family, and also, uh, you know, in a relationship, the need to be financially independent, uh, being bullied in a relationship. So we've discussed all kinds of the legal system, the in-laws, you know, all kinds of issues that we discuss, and also, uh, problems in the workplace. So there's a whole myriad of them aren't you, not just one. Okay. And do you think, where do you think it's, why don't you tell me Dave Priya, where do you think it starts with women, the issues? Does it? I think, uh, in a sense, everything definitely starts in the family in our earliest years. What is it that we internalize? What is the sort of sense of self that emerges? Right? That what do we see ourselves as being free or uncensored to do? And um, you know, when you were asking uh, Priya about this, that you know, what is a big challenge? I thought that as a as a writer, what I feel is that you know, often women writers are not taken as seriously in um, as as the great male writers are, right? Which is why for so many years we've had to talk about a separate feminist canon, a female canon, women writers. Right? So there are writers and women writers, right? That is, of course, changing. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's been static. It's there's there's a pushback all the time, but it's change is very incremental, right? So sometimes one gets angry, right? And sometimes anger is the thing that will push you to, to to changing the system. And Payan, with all your legal experience, what can we do about it? What can we do about the women's issues that are so prevalent in this country? Okay, that, that's that's a. I mean, it's a it's a tall order, but I can tell you what I am doing in my little space. So I run the country's uh, only all women law firm, mm -hmm. uh, and the reason for doing that is not segregation in a mm -hmm. sense. But uh, the way I see the legal practice is uh, that, you know, women have it coming at you at three places. So you have uh, the challenges that you have at, uh, at home. You also have the challenges uh, of a normal workplace. And then there is the third challenge uh, in law, which is the external environment, which is, uh, you know, uh, your opponents in either a negotiation or in court. So I can't control the home environment and I can't control the, uh, the outside environment of the court. But what I can control is the workplace. So we decided to create this safe space for women where you are competing with, uh, with your competitors at the workplace at our own pace as opposed to a uh, pace that's defined by men for us. I see. And you know, be able to uh, create a, a uh, an environment for women to grow in and, and then be able to deal with the external environment uh, at, a, at a more equitable pace, so to speak. Wonderful. That was really wonderful. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Anshu. This was Anshu Bahanda at Wellness Curated. Thank you.